My name is John Hunter. I run uh, the Q Stars Training Academy practice routines and uh, also um, run the YouTube channel. Although I would say, although I'm a sort of a bit of a one man show, if you do send in your videos to me, that'd be fantastic. And I can all even edit in them and put a nice thumbnail up. Um, so, it, what we're going to look at today is uh, one of a favourite routine of mine. I'm going to be running through these over the weeks, months ahead. Um, and the one I've started with today is long potting. It's a long potting routine. So I'm going to show you how to set it up and then we're going to just have a run through it and you can sort of, I'm going to talk my way through the break, um, through the, um, the practice routine. So to line these, I'm lining them up with a pink ball. I've got three reds, the fourth one from the side cushion, and then I'm lining up the rest of the reds about a centimetre apart like that. Okay. And then same again. As I said, all, all these routines you can find on the uh, Kistos Snooker Academy, which is www.qstars.co.uk. Actually, I've missed Academy. It's Qstars Academy. <laughs> right. So, so you can see I've got the reds nicely set up there. Um, in a game, your opponent often, well, sometimes will go in off and you'll be thinking, oh, I wish they hadn't and left the white down at the top end of the table because now you're in the D. So all these pots you're going to be playing from the D. Um, so that makes it a little bit, they make some smelly shots. So I always feel it's worth practicing them um, so that when you're in that situation, you know what shot you're going to play so you can be nice and positive with it. Um, so anyway, the first uh, shots I'm going to play are the, the two reds nearest the pink. I'm going to play like a floaty sort of Mark Williams shot, come off the top cushion for the black. Um, that, that's a shot I prefer um, to begin with, so that's what I'm going to try and do. Oh, had a wiggle, but just dropped. Right, and you can see there I've come nicely on the black, so it's a, it's a matter of treasuring the weight of the shot as well. And then you repeat it. Um, this time, I'm putting the cue ball next to the green, trying to play the same kind of shot. Oh, that one weren't so lucky. Now, any reds you miss, just pop it up here behind, but you sort of below the black on the um, top cushion. That's what I tend to do. Again, create the same sort of angle. I'm going to try and play the same shot. All right, it's in rattle mode at the moment, but I'm not going to panic. Just it's about hitting the ball as well as you can. And staying down on the shot, lifting your head up or anything like that. That's better. It's a good feeling when uh, the cue ball leaves the tip and you just know that you're going to pop the ball. Right. Um, now I've changed this. I used to do another floaty one here, but um, I took the advice of um, England's best under-21 player. See ya, um, Oliver Sykes, and he suggested that the better shot here is to stun it, and the white is sort of naturally just feed down to the black, and he, he's absolutely right. So it's the right shot. Um, so um, I've changed now. I play that on this shot now. Play the little stun down. You see, never too old to learn. There you go, and um, play it perfectly, because like Oliver said, you catch it just right, it will just get near the black. And again, same again, create that angle, so it's an off straight angle, so when you stun it, the white goes towards the black, so if I can get a little bit nearer the black this time. There we go. I should do that better that time. So great advice there from Oliver. So thanks, Oliver. And um, I was playing these next two shots 
like Oliver suggested. Um, so I've always played these two next two shots as stun shots. Yeah. And then uh, same the other side. Now I average four at this. You're probably thinking, oh, well, should I be worrying about my technique, the way I'm holding my cue, the way I'm standing? But the way I see it is if um, an average of, of four out of ten on this sort of routine, it, it, I think it's pretty good, pretty high. And as long as um, the average isn't falling or plummeting, then it would suggest that technically everything's okay. Not to panic. Oh no, didn't catch that right, that was poor. So, I've got two more shots left. Now these two shots, I like these. Um, they're hard to play, but the right way to play these shots, you've got the ball in the D, is to, is to float around and take the cue ball off. Two cushions and onto the black. It's a shot that Ronnie played um, against Mark Selby in the World Championship semi-finals a few years back. Um, real confidence boosters because if you these way you know you're just hitting the ball really good no surprise that Ronnie then went on I think to make like a massive cut a massive break oh that's what I mean that worked bad was it probably just got a little bit of pace into that I don't know I don't think quite hit that right well the good news here right? I've got five haven't I so so I'm one up It'd be nice to be two up. Let's see if I can show you guys this shot. Yay! There we go. It's a good finish. So I hope you enjoyed um, the talk through there. And um, yeah, perhaps this routine will become part of your practice. I hope it does because I, you know, I think it really works well. So anyway, um, I'll be doing more of these um, if, if there's an interest for it. So again, just to encourage me to, to do more. If you like and, sub and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. So I hope you enjoyed watching the Long Pots practice routine from the Q-Stars Snooker Academy. Bye.